two. There's a slight edge to Mike McCallum in size and also reach advantage by a couple of inches, but not really all that much. The last time I saw Callum Bay was his... Well, Ryan, not exactly brimming with action as they feed each other up. Get ready to go. They McCallum threw a real good low blow. If there is such a... McCallum, you know, has those long arms and when he's... He digs that, but that was in legal territory. It's above the belt. The base slip and punches real well. That's the awful station. The first native-born Jamaican to win 24 knockouts. But McCallum, who bangs hard down. The is much slicker than I thought he was. Yes, he is. He slip and punches well, and he's counter. Well, you see the experience on both men coming out here as this round comes to an end. If McCallum just throw one or two shots. Callum Bay on the right now, gets a good, solid shot. And Sambu Callum Bay, who's become one of them. And started boxing, attended the Ali Foreman fight in Zaire. You remember that one well, Angelo, and he goes to the my card, Angelo. There's a good exchange right there. McCann Patricio Callum Bay out of Italy as round five draws to a close in Pedro. All the columns picking up the pace, but... Right to the midsection of McCallum and a combination with both hands, scoring. This middleweight thing, easy, but the thing I noticed after the weigh he was sucking on a lot of liquid. Uh, they both made the way he let that shot go. That was an old move. It could age before your eyes, in other words, That's almost. right. He's very slick, and he slides the punches. And he counters well. Don't fight the way he is. Well, he's definitely losing it right now. They're sitting right behind us and obviously very confident with what McCallum uh, can't get any. Uppercut. <laughs> have known what Callum Bay can do for quite some time. My card, I have it 6-1-1, one, and one, and I could be generous in terms of what I've given. In any I'm event, a huge lead for but he must be ever mindful of the fact that he still can get hurt by McCallum, but he is hurting him at this stage. But he possibly can. Well, he can't time a shot because it's the cuteness of Callum Bay. He's trying to time a right hand. He got nailed the right hand himself. He steps into a ring. He reaches for the fellow. He's not close enough to, to nail him. Not there. That tank is heading for E. That's it. Not much of those McCallum punches now. He's a tired boxer through 10 rounds. Oh, what a shot right there. Very happy to stay up this late because they're enjoying what they're seeing. See with that local element. See, McCallum is pawing at him now. And he takes a, pays a big price when he does come after Callum Bay, like right here. Callum Bay just too quick. For Callum's total frustration. Pushing him off, trying to nail him. He's, He's about to there. take a beating here, it looks like. Round 11. Side to put a lot of cold water outside. Soaking wet. That is to get in a heavy blow that he's been not able to do all night long. A knockout. There's not half the fun against this guy. Cut the Callum did that we haven't seen all night. Usually he's got a pretty complete rush in. Well, this youngster hit him with some real good punches. Another good counter punch right there. Champion. Counter puncher. So Mike McCallum, barring a miracle here, is seconds away from his. We'll be back with a decision for you in just a moment. It's a unanimous decision for Patricio Calambe. And his paper is age. Tony, 24 years old. He just turned 24 within the past week. Mike McCallum will reach age 36 in December of this year. The interesting thing, I want you to pay my commands at all times. 
Give me a good clean fight and good luck to both of you. Shake hands. George. EA on its choice of an opponent for a defense. They wanted him to fight Steve Collins. He wanted to fight Curry. Tony, who landed a lot of power shots. McCallum starts to go to the body. Pace rather than in the spurts he did in the first fight, but he's spurting right now. That's because they respect each other, right, George? Once you have respect, you do have respect. On HBO's World Championship Boxing, be a battle of technique. And if it is, it plays into McCallum's favor. Tony landing a left hand and a right hand and another left. So how can he prevent Tony from jabbing it? Good right hand by McCallum. Set up by the trip. Mess up your vision. You been followed with consistent action throughout. Never good right hand by Tony. There's a good right hand. Another right hand by James Tony. Tony with the right uppercut. McCallum lands a left and a right inside. The two fighters trading solid punches as we come down the street. And here is Tony flaring. He said his fists would be the judges. Here comes the judge. Here come. Two good body shots from... And Mike just misses with the solid right cross that would have done some damage. Next rounds, George, would you endorse that strategy? I think so, because that's the one thing the younger fighters don't have, patience. Landed for Tony, but it was a glancing blow. And a right hand for Tony. And the cap... McCallum goes back to the body. Referee Joe. All right, seconds out. And here's a flurry by Tony. Good left hand. Staying in tight. Both fighters and within punching. Keep his punches up. He's going to pull a point. And that's what he did. Well, Mike McCallum threw that punch behind. Get enough to warrant the deduction of the point. Now McCallum and Tony are giving and taking against the rope. Take a look at the punches that caused the referee to take a point away. On the part of the two fighters. Tony working harder now again to begin round nine. Lands a left hand. McCallum comes right back. Two minutes of various rounds. When he was the law, decided to convene a subcommittee after Tony was given a split decision over to Barry and a foul. Tony also has an extra point from right, that referee's decision. There is a good left hand, perhaps. Harold Letterman saw enough to give him the round. So you see why James Tony creates questions for fans, score margins. There's a potential small edge for Tony. Yeah. Win the round or three scorecards just to merit a draw as it turned out. Give me a clean round, guys. Right hand landed for Tony. The car, come on. Hey, what's ahead? What's ahead, guys? Oh, you know it's about time when you in the gold trunks you have an Defeat. Judge was giving good advice in that in, uh, in the meeting yesterday. Yes, Harold Ludman gave good advice to James Tony when he told him he should fight all three, but it didn't happen. And McCallum goes back to the body trying to flurry. And McCallum got no adopts the body language of the winner while Tony simply stalks around the ring. Nous a confié donc que Mike Tyson a commencé à mettre les gants et il disait même, et où est la part de vérité, que trois de ses sparring partners ont déjà été mis KO à l'entraînement. C'est pas le problème Tyson pour le moment, le problème c'est ce championnat du monde des poids mille lourds avec Fabrice Tioso, notre Fabrice Tioso et Mike McCallum, un des grands. On se crochet du gauche de Fabrice mais tous les deux ont besoin visiblement de se décontracter un peu. Ouais, c'est bien bloqué, remisé, ça, il l'a beaucoup pas trop. Oui, 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 son entraîneur. Oui. Oui, bagarre derrière, Fabrice sent qu'il a été touché aussi à l'arcade. Et Mathieu sent un petit peu dans l'œil, il commence à cligner des yeux, Fabrice. Pourvu que ça ne soit pas le tour dans la rencontre. Oh, 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 o
n'y a pas de compte de goût normalement. Oui, mais il a mis la main à terre. Ouais. Il la main à terre, c'est la première fois que Van Kamp, je pense pas, mais en tous les cas, quelle réaction de Fabrice qui sort tout ce qu'il a. Il faut garder de la lucidité, Fabrice, il faut garder de la lucidité, même si c'est une chance pour lui tomber, je crois. L'arbitre devrait interrompre normalement pour permettre. Oui, bonne hypercute euh, de Tioso. Regardez McCallum, il va essayer de ne pas être... Ah, les papas... Il faut la régler. Ah, il est gêné par cette blessure à l'œil, Fabrice. Mais ça peut lui donner des forces supplémentaires. Le voilà reparti à l'attaque. Oh, et le bon... Voilà cette belle droite plongeante réussie ouais. par euh, Tioso. Superbe et même McCallum eh bien, a mis un genou à terre. Il y était bien forcé. de Mike McAloon et eh bien je crois que la blesse courte droite encore réussie par Tioso Quel... une guerre psychologique c'est à dire que tout à l'heure il y a eu un grand moment de beaucoup plus il ne laisse pas plus de coups il, il, il ouvre la bouche il y a... oui sans pour cela tirer sur l'organisme il gardait une petite couche euh... Pas de bras, mais... Oh, quelle ouais. belle droite, mais attention, les comptes vont venir très très vite. McCallum... Voilà, c'est en force, et McCallum... Ouais, c'est bien fait. Eh bien, ça provoque une ouverture. Fabrice a besoin de quelque chose, parce que Fabrice est à la recherche d'une nouvelle tactique, je dirais, en ce moment du combat. Tellement de grands et grands champions. Parce qu'il s'est formidablement préparé, mais d'abord McCallum s'est sûrement préparé aussi bien. Et puis j'ai la mais vous avez vu comme McCallum a contré aussitôt. Bon, la droite est arrivée, elle est arrivée à la tente. Il a raison, mais quelles sont belles ces petites droites. Absolument, c'est l'une des clés du match. Allez, il faut que tu continues de travailler. Soigné par Jim Strickland. C'est sûr que ça ne va pas être la même chose, mais enfin j'en saurais. J'en saurais beaucoup quand même. Maintenant il a ses... Allez Fabrice. Ouais, un peu haut de droite. Celle-là est arrivée. Ouh Ils se sont contrés tous les... Mais madame Fabrice, les yeux pliés. Bon attention, en ce moment on est un dans un détournant de la rencontre. Ils prennent beaucoup de risques là. Mais il faut absolument ne pas se laisser diriger par le professeur, comme certains le surnomment. Voilà, c'est certain. Oui, la gauche puis la droite. Et évidemment, Mike McAloon imposer cette tactique qu'il s'était fixée. Oui. Empêcher de remiser. Mais tout ça peut faire son œuvre. Changer pour lui. Oui, bonne gauche. Oui. Oh, le protégeant est parti encore de Mike oui, gauche, il essaie de contrer Macalou, mais c'est Fabrice qui est à l'attaque. Compte de récupération supplémentaire. C'est pas. Ouh, pas de droite. We need to go get don't let him go. Don't let him go. C'est une belle gauche, McCallum, là. 
passe là-bas. C'est pas péjoratif. Mais c'est la formule. Il a aussi donné des droites. Ah, il y en a deux qui sont. Dans deux roues, champion du monde, Paris. Dans deux roues, t'es champion du monde, Paris. Accroche-toi, hein. Dans deux roues. Tu le sais, tu le sais, pas de la bagarre. Fort, 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 fort. Tu vois ce qu'il y a en face, c'est du bleu. Il y a eu tellement de rythme à mettre, euh, tellement de coups à prendre. Alors qu'on est dans la dernière ligne droite. Il cherche à être assuré en regardant un peu. Oh, là voilà le contre. Donc. Et là c'est Fabrice qui se lance, mais attention Fabrice prend. Ah, ils ne sont pas pu passer, c'est droit. Là non plus, attention au contre, il y a d'être contré. Les gars, c'est la fin de la route, tu bouges chez moi. Allez mon frère, prends-moi. Encore. Et c'est long en boxe. Il est vraiment faire tourner son adversaire. Il faut lever les mains, il ne faut pas prendre trop de risques. Tout jusqu'au bout. En face, c'est le champion du monde. Ouais, terrible l'offre de Fabrice. On vous l'avait promis. Il a touché du droit. Il a... C'est fini, c'est fini, Fabrice est à genoux, mais Fabrice a gagné. Je ne peux pas croire que les juges puissent donner un autre verdict que Fabrice Dioso, champion du monde des poids mi-lourds, W. Les trois juges ont trois points. Cette fois-ci, il n'y a plus de mystère. Le sport français vient de gagner un nouveau héros. Il s'appelle Fabrice Dioso. Referee for this one, Brian Gary. This WBC World Championship bout at all times. I want you to obey my command to break. If you score a knockdown, go to the neutral corner. Do not come out till I signal. Protect yourself at all times. Don't use your head as a weapon. No rabbit punches or low blows. Shake hands. Come out boxing at the back. His drive to turn in his worst performance. That but. Absolutely starts Don Curry. Well, not often you see Jones backed up. I remember back in 89, Harold Graham facing Mike McCallum for the vacant WBA middleweight championship as once again. It was a majority decision for McCallum. Owens over 12 rounds. And thereafter beat Michael Watson in 11. Trying to weave a bit of the McCallum. And McCallum fighting, put pressure on Jones. And I do remember when uh, Jones in the ring. It seems to be the most bizarre of hobbies. Slightly low then for McCallum. No hard feelings. Although he's making all the right, are quite slim. Nice work. Scoring this match. It's a three upon Jones, the winner, and the three. And what McCallum's not having a bad round here, he got through with a, one particularly good right hand earlier in this round. Free don't post him. And whenever you see Mike, oh, good shot there is. McCallum went to work with a double left foot. Jones cracked him with the right. And McCallum and Mike. Jones quite a fan. And again, Jones cracked. And the right hand. Of course, you've got some confusion with the worker weights. Colonel Whitaker, Phoenix, Trinidad. Right? <laughs> On the same day as his uh, title defense against Eric Lucas. 
should be. Glenn McCallum there, force really. Helling. And again, Jones cracks in her right hand. And there's nothing wanting about McCallum. He's there for a punch up. Well, signs of desperation in the McCallum corner, hardly surprising. Once again, Jones jigging around in the corner there. And just. And so much, of course, is expected of Jones by these Florida fans. They think he's going to walk out. Oh, and again, a right on the chin. Oh! He's down. Callum hit the floor. It was on the deck against Fabrice Tiozo. And this is only the second knockdown, as far as I'm aware, in Mike McCallum's... Well, Roy Jones. <laughs> nice right over the top for this. McCallum looking a bit fleshy. Oh. Well, how did he keep his feet then? Look at it really was something. James Tony didn't win a round. Focused on a punch up in the crowd. McCallum looks like he's waiting. There's no doubt about that. Again, the right. Of course, there's a huge ball attack. And McCallum, one of the most respected fighters in the modern game of the 12th and final round. Jones has skated it, and again catching McCallum on the chin with the right hand, he almost went down. It's all over now. The old boy's been saved from the indignity of being knocked out, but Roy Jones wins by a street. I've got it 118 to 111 in favour. Roy Jones! 120-107, every round against McCallum and won by two points. Well, that's where he can work on the inside. When I say McCallum can't be sloppy, don't get into a, an inside sloppy fight. Keep your... uh, the WBU for some weight in between fights. That may be the understatement of the century. Common opponents for these two. Roy Jones Jr., both losing 12-round decisions. And Glenn Thomas, both with 10-round wins. Jones, Charles Williams, Iran Barkley, Reggie Johnson, Michael Nunn. Yeah, so they've been a who, through a who's who of the junior middleweight, middleweight, and super middleweight. One thing that Tony's getting done early, he's getting the left hook in, that left hook. And a point more heavier, they're fighting it at a weight that's much bigger. Miguel Diaz made the point. Don't worry. Don't. <laughs> he did languish on the ropes a lot. He has that body work from McCall McCallum. He loves that. A little left hook from McCree on ESPN's championship. McCallum, when he's on the inside, don't just stand in front of Tony. you got to pick a... McCallum has five second round knockouts in his... Final 30 seconds of round two. McCallum slapping with his punches. He has a habit of doing that. That's maybe the one chick in his armor as a fighter. In WBU Cruiserweight Championship. And former three-time world champion has been in. Sure is. It's just amazing. They end up throwing fights away. Tony is like that. The right hand from Tony. Back comes McCallum. Tony just looking at that edge kind of ballooned up there. It's nice combinations. James Tony's actually putting his punch you could ever imagine seeing, and he's gotten away from that, which is tragic. So if he can get back to it, when he uh, threw a low blow. The very best referees in boxing today. Nice right hand by McCallum. Mike McCallum has become more and more of an arm puncher at tackler to watch. You could sense it in this fight, ending this round.
forced to fight in spurts at the age of 40. He even turned professional 15. No. A big win today at Maryland. All the highlights coming up, of course, after boxing on sports. Two fights previously with Tony. He might knock Mike McCallum out. Just to dispute your card a second, I have a five zip for Tony. There's an earlier that is apparent here. The personable Miguel Diaz, who was once the cut man for Tony. Yeah, and he said, that, you know, he said, I, I, I left Tony not on fighters. James Tony is not the kind of guy who will walk in, take a step to his left. Get trained Virgil Hill, one of the light heavyweight champions. Pretty excessive, especially in an eight-round fight. In round one. And, and on top of all that, the judges may or may not agree with them. Eight rounds, they've both been there, done that. You go past like is hurting him to me, but again, oh, nice right by McCallum. Yeah, that one landed. Almost one minute gone by in the 12th and final round. Now we'll take a look at your scorecard to this point. Is one minute to go in the 12th and final round. The vacant WBU Cruiserweight check. There is an urgency in ringside here that leads you to believe that a lot of people think this is a very most important people which are the judges. All well, that counts. There's the left hook again from Tony and a right. Tony McCallum three ends with a series of rights for me. Find out who the winner was for the vacant WBU Cruiserweight Championship as ESPN's Championship Boxing returns after this time. James Lights Out Tony! James Tony, a unanimous winner on all three judges' cards. The final judge, Larry Hazard Jr., had...